What is freedom? In ordinary conversation, we call people free, who are not prevented from doing what they want to do and conducting their life as they see fit. In politics and political philosophy, freedom usually means having civil or political liberty, having certain basic rights or freedoms, such as those codified in the American Bill of Rights, the Rights of Man, or the Charter of the United Nations. In the realm of metaphysics and the philosophy of mind, the term freedom refers to a very basic feature of decisions or actions. When we perform an ordinary act, like drinking a cup of coffee, or going to a movie, or helping a friend, we have a feeling that our action results from our own decision and that we could have done otherwise. It seems that only when this is the case do we take full responsibility for our actions. A person might be free in this sense, although not enjoying freedom in the sense of political liberties. A writer under house arrest and prevented from publishing would not enjoy basic civil liberties. But many of her actions would still be free in this metaphysical sense. She has coffee in the morning and she could have had tea. Perhaps she writes her essays even though she can't publish them. This is indeed a free act, in that she could have gardened or stayed in bed instead. If she had chosen to do those things, no one would have forced her to write. One fundamental question about freedom in this sense concerns its relation to determinism. If determinism is true, are any of our actions really free? Or is freedom simply an illusion? This debate often turns on the exact definition of freedom. Compatibilists are likely to think of freedom as being able to act in accord with one's desires and decisions, even if those desires and decisions are themselves the influences of more remote causes, outside the agent. This is compatible with determinism, in that one's own desires and decisions might be the causes of one's actions, even though those desires and decisions were themselves caused by other things, and lie at the end of a chain of causes and effects that goes back to the time before the agent was born. An incompatibilist typically thinks of a free decision or act as one that is not caused by anything else, or is caused by the agent, independent of external causes. It is important to note that the term free Will is sometimes used to contrast with freedom of action. One's will in this sense is one's decision, choice, or dominating desire. Even if one is free to follow one's strongest desire, and hence has freedom of action in the compatibilist sense, does one have any control over those desires and choices themselves? Can one influence the strength of one's desires, or are they determined by external influences? One might be a compatibilist with respect to free action and determinism, but an incompatibilist with respect to free will and determinism.